Hi folks, as the title says, it's just a short video on how to install a RadGuard and why I went with this one. This is the simplest one I could find, it's by Evotech. It's all black. I don't really want to pay attention to my radiator. I come from the air-cooled school of old motorcycling and for me radiators are an abomination but a necessary one. I'd far rather bikes didn't have them. There are very few pretty ones out there, although there are some delicious curved ones by the more um, wonderful marks like Ducati, etc. Uh, however, my radiator is a bog standard rectangle and I am going to cover it up and protect it. I got a lot of stick for not riding with a rad guard. I extended the fender with a power bronze fender extender and uh, that wasn't good enough apparently. So I've taken some of your comments to heart. I'm going to put on my first ever rad guard. First. I've never had one, never used one. I've had lots of bikes, but I did come from the air-cooled. My first LC 350 Yamaha, I rode it around with a rat, without a rat guard. I don't know anyone who got a rock, rock through their radiator uh, in those days, but apparently it happens now. So I'm going to go for it. A quick caution. First of all, this was cheap. It's nice aircraft-grade aluminum, according to the description. 125 bucks for this right now at motorstars.com. Uh, sorry, motorstars.ca in Canada, and I'm sure you can get these elsewhere for just as cheap. Uh, I didn't uh, want one of the ones with the fancy Z900RS written across the top because if I get that, I get less airflow. And one of the things this bike uh, does is until it's flashed, it runs a little warm. And you are warned by Evotech that uh, uh, Red Guard will naturally restrict some airflow. So I went for one that was as open as could be but still offers protection. The uh, reason I'm doing an install video on this is not because this is hard. It's got literally four screws to go in, and I'll show you very quickly how that works. But the reason I'm going to do this is because when I took this out of the package, there were no instructions. Big deal. Don't need them, except these two little rubber grommets, I thought that's what they were, grommets flew out. And I spent about an hour looking for the other two, because obviously they were going to go in these four holes here, for some sort of vibration dampening, or maybe just to keep everything all nice and tight. Now it turns out, after a little research, there are actually spacers, and out of all these hexagonal holes on here, there are two. It's enough to drive you nuts. There are two perfectly circular ones, and that's what these fit through. So that's what I've done. When you open your package and only two of these fall out, don't do what I did and spend half an hour on the ground with a flashlight looking for the other two. Go do a bit of research or listen to this vid and find out for our bike, there are only two of these, and I guess it's to stop any compression pushing back onto the radiator, it just keeps it spaced out. Okay, onwards and upwards. And literally, it's this simple. Put a socket in, loosen them off. They're not in very tight at all. You could use something like Loctite or something like that if you were concerned about it, but I'm not gonna talk them up. When I do these up again, I will just do them hand tight. Trim pieces dangling here, making a funny noise. I'm sure you're going to hear that if these ever come unscrewed, even while riding. Uh, some people leave these off. Uh, I'm not going to, but I might do in the future. Who knows? Uh, the other side is off. Uh, if I don't know if you can see right down there. I'm just going to place it over the top here. It fits very nicely. And then simply, I am just going to uh, put this back on. And really, the point of this is just to show you how easy it is. And also... To show you what it looks like with the trim on. If you left the trim off, you'd have to get some black uh, bolts, I think, because I, I wouldn't be happy with uh, two silver Allen nuts holding out like that. I'll go around the other side and slip the other one on, and I'll be back in a sec, and then we'll take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to tighten these up. Oh, I should have said earlier on, that is a number five uh, Allen head. So you can use an Allen key, or like me, if you can get the thing out, you can use one of these sockets. I just find the sockets easier. It's so a number five, and uh, that's simple. Just spin it around and get that in. Awkward, because I'm standing out of the way of the cameras here so that you guys can see. And uh, literally, just hand tight. My favorite thing is to uh, over-tighten things. Since I got a torque wrench and realized how little tension you need to keep a bolt in. A Loctite's your best friend if you're worried about it. Okay, so there's the side view. It's on. Well, next time you see this, it'll be on the front. And I can tell you, having put the other side on, I already like it. It just ties the whole radiator together. Like the front of a Jag or something, you know. Cool.
So there it is from the right side, there it is from the left side. I'll do some static shots for you to let you see what it's like. What I particularly like about it is the indentation here looks kind of cool. And this little lip goes over the top here and it kind of hides that front ugly uh, lip or seam they've got there. I really think they should have finished the top of the rad off. Anyway, at least Evotech have rolled this over the top to partially hide the front lip. I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks for watching. Give me your feedback. Tell me what you think. What rad guard did you get? What are your experiences without a rad guard? I've never had a bad one, but I've had enough stick and feedback that I decided to put one on. So there you go. An old dog can learn new tricks. Cheers. Once again, thanks for watching everyone. If this is the first time you've watched, please consider subscribing. I do product reviews, motorcycle reviews, off-road and on-road vlogs, as well as tours. Don't forget to follow me on social media, that's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, and to like, and especially, I'm begging you here folks, subscribe. This is the Blue Marble Rider, out.